Hello, this is Overlord Nigel for another deck check. Now, today's deck is my uh, Cyber Dragon Suicide deck. Now, I know Suicide deck doesn't sound particularly good, but the idea behind it is that either it works and your opponent hasn't got a chance, or it doesn't and you snuff it immediately. Uh, hence, Suicide. It's not a tournament uh, sensible deck, bit, uh, well, very risky. Um, so let's go through the cards. Now, Cyber Krillum is in there mostly to deal with Power Bond. Now, Cyber Krillum, if you tribute it, um, no effect damage affects you that turn. Obviously, it's like a Power Bond here. Uh, if you fuse uh, a monster with it, you'll take the original month's attack as d effect damage, but the monster gets double the attack. Very useful in this deck, but... You know, said so double-edged sword as always. Uh, heavy mech support. Um, good fusion for Ky uh, fuel, should I say, for Chimera Tech Over Dragon. Also, you know, extra 500 chance of uh, surviving attack. Always helpful. Uh, same sort of thing with Krillin, except Krillin's effect is to lower your uh, Cyber Dragon's attack by 1,000 to... Uh, Destroy a monster on the field. You know, very helpful. Uh, Cyber Phoenix here. Um, sort of an anti-effect. Not brilliant due to the fact that it has to be in face-up attack mode for its effect to work. But, you know, if you can scare someone off from putting up an attack mode, more than more for you. Uh, Cyber Valley. Very good stall draw card. Um, for those who don't know, the effect of Cyber Valley is to sacrifice itself by removing it from play, either for A, to stop an attack and draw a card, B, to take someone with it and draw a card, or C, something else. I can't bother to figure out. To be honest, I only ever use the first one. Very rare I use the second. Um, obviously... Cyber Dragon, very important in this deck since the whole deck kind of hinges around it. Um, I find it's always helpful to have at least one on the deck if you're going for the future fusion strategy or in your hand if you're not. Uh, Cyber Dragon Zeal and Proto Cyber Dragon are here basically to cover up the fact that um, you can't always have three Cyber Dragons. Uh, now this deck does get hit a bit when um, they keep putting the ban lists in because they never seem to decide whether they can have three Cyber Dragons, two Cyber Dragons or one. Mostly because Cyber Dragon is abused in every deck ever made as far as I'm concerned. Which is a little bit of a shame because while I'm a little bit purist when it comes to certain cards being in certain decks, um, I do get a little annoyed when cards get banned that are fun to play with because... Everyone's using them. Blackwing is another example of uh, cards that get abused a lot. All right, uh, to next to spells. Obviously, Future Fusion to get your Chimera Tech Over Dragon out. Uh, Overload Fusion to kind of bring it back out after uh, it's blown itself up with Future Fusion. Uh, Golden Sarcophagus and Different Dimension and Capsule are there, mostly as draw aids along with Pot of Greed. Uh, one thing with this deck is you need to draw a lot of cards, but you need to draw them after you've hit Future Fusion. Because when Future Fusion hits, you have no more monsters in your deck. So apart from what's in your hand, um, or your graveyard, that's it. Um... Obviously, Mystical Space Typhoon is there for uh, sort of take out defensive purposes. Monster Reborn, enough said. Um, now, I have a Diffusion in here. A lot of people keep telling me I shouldn't, but I found it's been quite helpful to me in the past. You know, you've brought out a monster, say, for example, your Chimera Tech Over Dragon. Uh, you can then quick play this before its effect kicks in, which can defuse it so you can put a whole field of good monsters. 
Or if you've got a Cyber End Dragon out, you've wiped out their um, defences, but haven't quite done enough to wipe out their life points. Defusion, you've got three Cyber Dragons ready to attack. Um, obviously polymerizations to bring out Cyber Dragon. Limit removal, very useful uh, sort of last ditch attempt. Uh, you know, things aren't going too well. One last blast might make it. There you go. Uh, and Swords of Revealing Light, again, brilliant stall card. Uh, now we've got traps. Dark Bribe, I'm sure you've seen enough of my videos to know I've got at least two or three of in every deck. Negate Attack. And Scrap Iron Scarecrow, they're basically a stall as much as possible. Uh, Magical Cylinder, again, another stall, effect damage. Uh, Mirror Force, kind of obvious what it's there for. And the last little trick in this deck, uh, Return from a Different Dimension. Now, what I do is, uh, because of um, the effect of Overload Fusion, which is partly what the strategy is about, um, everything's in your remove from play. So you put that down, and again, more of a backup than an actual deck strategy. If, say, for instance, it all goes wrong and they take out your, uh, you know, whatever you summoned, you can then activate that and removing, and then you can bring from the uh, sort of remove from play three Cyber Dragons. Was how I do it. A Cyber Krillin. Uh, and normally a Cyber Phoenix. That way, you've got some good attacks and if um, some defense against uh, effect damage. And if you happen to be lucky enough to still have a hold of your power bond, Cyber Krillin to stop the damage. Uh, and next, if we look at the fusions. Fusion! Fusion! Ah! Now, for the fusions, I only have four different fusions, which are uh, good for this deck, very uh, small for my normal fusion based decks. But we have Chimera Tech Overdragon. This is your main beat stick of the deck. You know, the whole deck really revolves around getting him out at max power. Um, Cyber End Dragon kind of comes with the Cyber Dragon territory. Um, very useful if you can get a Cyber End Dragon out um, using a, all the different strategies. I'll probably go a bit more into in a minute. Uh, Cyber Twin, if you can't quite get End out, Twin's good. And Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Now that's mostly in there for, well, two reasons. One, if you're out of polymerizations. You don't need a polymerization. Two, uh, mostly is why a lot of people tech it into their decks that have nothing to do with Cyber Dragon. Because people have this mild obsession with Cyber Dragon and using it to uh, basically get a heavy hitter out fast, especially during the Synchro era, uh, a lot of people used to put this in there because you can take Cyber Dragon and machine types from either side of the field. Meaning that if they go, ha, I've got a Cyber Dragon, you go, ha, no, you haven't. Now, basic strategy for this deck is using your search cards, you get out a future fusion. Um, using that to put all your monsters from the deck into the graveyard. Uh, now, using what cards you've got less to defend uh, for those turns, uh, two turns, you then... Um, try to get out an overload fusion because, of course, when Chimera Tech comes out, it destroys everything on the field, which means the future fusion goes killing him. You then play your overload fusion, he comes back after removing everything from play, and as long as they don't do something that wipes out your monster, there's got a good chance you've got a pretty darn big, scary monster. Uh, with lots of attacks, lots of uh, damage to the HP and to the opponent's monsters. Um, other strategy goes with it, as I said before, 
return from a different dimension. If this goes all wrong, you play that, you bring out your three cybers and that, and you fuse your cyber end dragon. Uh, now this deck, as I said, isn't very tournament safe. Actually, it's not very safe full stop. Uh, it's got about a 50-50 track record with me. So, um, kind of lives up to its name. You know, suicide, you either win or you lose. Sadly, mostly lose. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, this deck video and I hope to see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.